about Jesus Christ. We want to hear about some bullshit. That's what they want to hear. So this gospel is offensive because your house shine for everybody. Yeah, that's right. Your house shine for fucking everybody, man. All type of stuff, officers spraying us with pepper spray. Exactly. What, what y'all do is y'all business. You see here on the sidewalk, do not, or something up the 
gonna keep us safe man you know hey which as he should man hey that that's how the scriptures is man what is that this is the mark of the beast this is the mark of the beast that the scripture speaks of in revelation yeah. that's that's uh like meat or no it's, it's it's what's coming in the very near future right oh, see like they plan protein? to do away with the dollar no it's not me brother it's a, it's no, no, a device no. it's a device right. break oh, it down just, just listen go ahead read this revelation chapter 13 and verse 16 right and he calls of all both small and great rich and poor right free and bond right. to receive a mark hey so let me it says hey, he calls of all both small and great no matter your status all right whether you in uh in poverty or whether you got riches it says small and great rich and poor all right speaking again it don't matter what you is in society all right the elites of, of that run this world all right you know hey, these uh these trillion dollar families man all right who's orchestrating everything Hey, because do you know what it's saying? Uh, I believe it was the, the Rothschild, the Bilderberg says, I care who, who, who make not the laws. I think it was Yeah, but the script, hey, hey, hey. Uh, I think it was either Rothschild or the- Yeah, yeah, they yeah, just yeah, want to control yeah, the money. Yeah, he said, I, I care not who make the laws, all right, but give me control of the money, all right, and you can control basically everything, man. So these trillion dollar plus families, man, they're, they're, they're the ones behind these uh, these uh, uh, mischief uh, 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 these devices. The they're the Edomites. The Edomites are the Bible. Right? So it says small or great, rich or poor, free or bond. Just, just listen, brother, whether you, whether you, question. yeah, just listen, you're going you gonna to learn. To receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. It says in their right hand or in their forehead. Have you ever heard of the RFID chip? Radio okay. frequency identification. Well, see, that's the thing. That's what we are here for. Because, hey, hey, the scripture says this gospel shall be spread throughout the four corners of the earth, then the end shall come. Right? So here you is now, right now. All right. You're hearing this, right? So hey, you're another soul mark. Now, look, you might very well be an Edomite, right? If you're an Edomite, it don't matter if you take this or not, you, your destruction is sealed. But at least we let you know, because this word has to go out through the four corners of the earth. We have to let you know that this is what's coming to pass, because we're prophets. You know what a prophet means? Uh, yeah, yeah. What does it mean? The, the person who uh, comes forth uh, like to spell truth. Well, prop, prop, a prophet goes into, oh, prop C goes into say before, basically. So a prophet is one who tells people what's going to come to pass before it actually comes to pass, right? And the only way you know if a prophet is true is when the things come to pass that he said. Because you got a lot of people who call themselves prophets out here, but they ain't pushing this. They, 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 they put, they, they say this is a uh, Christianity. They say this is an embargo. They say this is Believe in a white woman, right? Those. Is that the Bible? <laughs> but it's it's the Bible. You believe in the Bible? I mean, I grew up. I mean, I grew up like Christian. How you feel about the Bible? I don't know. I mean, I. Do you believe it's a God? I swear to God, but I don't. You shouldn't do that. But okay, no, no, no. I mean, like, in, okay, no, no, no. Let me rephrase. Okay, I mean, I don't believe it's a God. I mean, like, in, okay, no, no, no. Let me rephrase. I subconsciously swear to God. But in part of my head, it's like it's like it's in the back of my head, right? But at sometimes, most of the time, I'm like, no, fuck it, I don't believe in the higher power. If anything, artificial intelligence is the higher power. Well, then you gonna take that. You gonna yeah, put it. This is this. That's what. Yeah, that's your God, right? And you going to that word mark in the book of Revelation? Oh, okay. okay. hey, that word mark, word mark you going to the uh, uh, Greek? It's Karago. Oh, okay. Goes, okay. Okay. goes okay. into okay. some uh, okay. graven mark, okay. something that's gonna break through the skin. Yeah. Right. That's an incision. Yep. 
That's why you see everything becoming uh, uh digital, elect digital, digital. electronic. Yeah. We're at the end of the world, and hey, this is the end time side. Hey, to buy and sell as the scriptures say, right? And, and the thing is, you got to remember, this was written thousands of years ago, man. Yeah, you got things. Uh, have you, I know you've been to Whole Foods before, right? Yeah. All right. Have you noticed that there's a thing that's a? Uh, it's basically like a palm reader. Have you noticed that? Okay, go on now, Whole Foods again, and you'll see there's a palm reader now. This the this would the works like. No, 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 it's all good. Uh, what were you about to say? No, this is the history book of the world. This is why we have this good understanding of it. Right. So, hey, this scripture right here that the brother's reading is going into what's going to happen in the future. That's why he asked you, what's a prophet, man? To say things, uh, a prophet says things before it happens, man. And, and the brother uh, went into Karagma, which that's the word mark, where it comes from. Which means, what you said, uh, uh, a mark, uh, a uh, an incision under the skin, man. All right? So what device is out there that's like that? Let me read this name verse. Go ahead. This is verse 17. And that no man might buy or sell, that's right. save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So basically, you're going to have a device under your skin where you can't even uh, make a uh, purchase. You're not going to be able to participate yeah. in any type of commerce. Or yeah. any type of anything that society offers, you won't be able to go to the doctor. Right. You won't be able to get on the bus. You exactly. won't be able to purchase food. You won't be able to do nothing that you go. Through. All of these things that society provides for you, you will have to have this to be able to interact with all of those things. You won't be able to just have cash and pay for shit with cash, no more. and you won't be able to have a debit card and use that. All your money is going to be on this. That's social credit. Yeah. And, 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 and do you believe that? What he just said, I mean, I, I see this very plausible. Yes, I you mean, know, there's already the, the fucking this thing. Yeah, that's, that's what he's talking about. That's why he went into the forehead. It's already here, man. Yeah. At the end of the day. Yep. Including niggas, because the niggas are talking about it's June. When niggas said that it's June shit, it was here already. This is already out. Yeah. A lot of jobs yeah. use this. A lot of play, A lot of buildings use this as a replacement for a key fob already. People yeah. got this. And yep. they use it as their key to start their car. Hey, they use this? it as a uh, yeah, yeah, your phone. And, and all I've of this stuff is um, this, 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 this um, there it is. Come on, there gradual there steps there leading towards where, because eventually, like right now, you can still use debit cards and your phone and all that. But a day is going to come where all of that is going to be taken away, and this is what you're going to have to deal with. And and then this is going to allow the powers that be to have complete control over you. If you get in trouble, they're just going to turn your money off. It no, is, no yeah, because you can still leading. listen. It's inside if, you. You can operate without a credit card right now. You can throw it away. You yeah, can go and I, use cash yeah. to pay for shit. When this come out, oh. this the only thing the you're gonna be able to use. Cash. I mean, I guess you can say like someone can steal look, your. Look, but that's but, MLC, but right? listen, like brother, someone can just this be, like, is a part of. This is gonna be in your body. Inside you. This is not gonna be no fucking debit card or no credit card. And like I said, that's a uh, false equivalence because you can still use cash right now. Yeah, this, exactly. this is completely different. I know, bro. and it's it's extremely scary. I see what you're saying. You're, you're, I see why, you're, I see what you're saying. Yeah, see, so like brother say, when this I'm not comes, arguing. No, when this comes to fruition, explain. when this comes to fruition, you're not gonna be able to use cash. This is gonna be the only form of currency. It's gonna be digital. That's why they got all these blockchains. All right, all these cryptocurrencies because everything Esau is. He, he deals with gradualism. He slowly yeah. grabs Everything the people. Done because right, in reality, the credit card and the debit card were things to put you in the in the mindset yeah. of accepting mm -hmm. something like this. Like, they say, and and like you know, with the credit card and debit card, they say you got the chip. You, you got remember the chip. they were saying that all the time. Yeah. So this, this is what this is. Chip. It was getting your mind. Uh, uh, what did they call it? Uh, Condition. Yes. Condition. Yeah. Yeah. Conditioning yeah. your mind to be prepared for it. And the next step is this, man. And, and you, people, so like it. There's people that already got this already. Yes, sir. But it's going to get to the point where it's going to, it's, uh, that's why I say it causes all. Yeah. It's going to get to that point. Why you think there's like banks crashing, all this other stuff that's happening, bricks with the, uh, 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 what's that? The go, uh, golden, you, uh, what is it called? Gold standard. Uh, yeah, basically uh, trading oil uh, through gold instead of the petrol dollar. Yeah, yeah. All this stuff, like the brother said, gradualism. That's it. Uh, everybody's distracted by everything else in the world. This is what's coming, man. Yeah. What you finna do with that? Eat it. You finna eat it? How you pay for that? YOLO, right? Huh? Oh, he snatched that shit. You said, you said, oh. you said, oh, I took that shit. Yeah, well, no, but listen. But that's like I was going to say, look, you ain't going to be able to get that without this. This is what we tell you, and this is in the script.
scriptures. Yeah. All right? To but I'm going to tell you, look. I asked you, did, did you believe in what the brother said? You know what? This Revelation chapter 3 and verse 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon the come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So this is going to be presented to everybody. See, because it's not, you said debit card and credit card, but this got a symbolic meaning behind it. That debit card and credit card don't really mean shit. Uh -huh. See, it's something, back in the ancient world, they had something called the hall. And what this was, was, you know, people were indentured service to others or were slaves to other people. And you could work your debt off and then not be a slave no more. Or you could go and say that you appreciate your master. Let's say that your master owned you and he owned a woman. And you end up having children with this woman. Well, that woman and those kids are actually property of that master. If you wanted to leave and you worked your debt off to him, you wouldn't be able to take them with you. But let's say that you was cool with the way your master dealt with you and treated you. He dealt with you righteously. He didn't treat you foul. You could go to the officials in whatever city that you was in and you could tell them that you was going to be his servant forever and the way to verify that they would get a uh they would get like an ear piercer like the thing that they pierce your ear with and something like that and they'll punch a hole in your ear and it'll signify that you was the property of that person Mark. and that's like and that's yeah. and that and that's why that's what this is they're going to put this and they already put it in cattle and sheep right now. They yeah, call it spoiled right now. They call it cattle. Yeah, let me let me bring this up. This Isaiah, uh, this Isaiah, I'm Isaiah, Exodus chapter 21. Uh, you want me to start at six, right? Oh, uh, five, right? I'm gonna start at five. So, uh, it said, and if the servant shall plainly say, "I love my master, my wife, and my children," I will not go out free. Then his master shall bring him unto the judges. He shall also bring him to the door or unto the door post. And his master shall bore his ear through with an awl and he shall serve him forever. So this is the process going into a servant and a master. Uh, so after you serve seven years, all right, you know, this is our custom. This is an Israelite custom, which we are Israelites. All right, you know, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Americans. We are Israelites, so we, we kept we have a heritage and laws that commandments to keep. And back in our back in our heritage and our laws, when you had a slave, a Hebrew slave, you could only keep him for seven years. You, he would work for you, all right. And after that, you would send him away with with goods. But right. I'm showing him the mark, which is what it says right here. This is of the mark stamp on the forehead or right hand as the badge of the followers of the anti uh, Messiah. Right. That's so, what this is. Yeah. So so basically. After those seven years, you would give him the, the option to leave and take his riches. But if he had a family, say say he was with you and he, he had a wife while he was with you, he had children while he was your slave, they, he wouldn't be able to take, they would be your possession. Because he came alone, he would leave alone. But if he said, to Jesus? No, I'm referring We're talking to talking about the, the general custom. A custom. Oh, let me see it. Oh, just, uh, a random person, like any person. Man. Referring to the name. slave and the master okay. in, the, in the situation. based on what your father's heritage or father's uh, patrilineal line goes back to. Yeah. If your patrilineal line, when you trace it all the way back, goes and, and goes all the way back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, then you are a Hebrew Israelite. You are one of these tribes, that regardless of how you look or what you think you are. I'm a bastard, man. Brother, that don't matter. You still have a father. Just, just no, listen. No, but I Stop. don't know. I understand. Just that, listen, that's a of Judah. Listen. listen. Just listen. So I just we just telling you this because we don't know you. You might not be a white man. You might be an Israelite. We are obligated to tell you that just because you look like a white man don't mean that you're a white man. All right? You so, should dress like a brother. Yeah. I mean, the nigga fucked up out here. Yeah, he dressed like a, 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 a 
dressed like a Jacob. I, I, I got a scripture in the back. I got a scripture in the back. I'm up. This Romans chapter 8, verse 16. The spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahweh Shem Yahweh So basically, it's uh, through the spirit, man. All right? Because uh, you got people out there like, you heard of Bruce Lee, right? You heard of him, right? Yeah, my father. Yeah. All right, cool. No, no, you good. So Bruce Lee, he don't act like a regular Chinese person, man. Yeah. But he had like, uh, 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 we say flavor, you know what I'm saying? He had a little sauce to him, you feel me? That's how he was, man. And there's a lot of examples. I see Break Flair. Oh, yeah, Break Flair, Flair like a motherfucker. Bro. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> He's very influential, man. All right? But yeah, man, uh, just because you're that color doesn't mean nothing, man. Uh, uh, Jeremiah 12 and 9, my inheritance is unto me as a speckled bird. Yep. The birds run about her, about are against her. Come ye, assemble all the beasts of the field, come to the power. So we're, we're scattered to the four corners of the earth. This Zechariah chapter 14 and 12. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongues shall consume away in their mouth. Alright, so because at the end of the day, you know, pertaining to the question you came up and asked first, you know, the end game of, of this society, so to say, is that these Edomites gonna come. They're going to shut down all the financial systems and everything in society. They're going to come out with this. And in order for you to partake in anything that they have to offer, you're going to have to take this. Shortly after they do that, World War III is going to be going on. And then, in the midst of that, like this. Then shortly after all of that, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly will call Jesus, who is a, a so-called black man, is going to come back in uh, what you will call a UFO. And he's going to destroy this place with the nukes that we got here and with fire from the yeah. And all the people that take this are going to get left down here. All the Israelites that take this are going to get left down here and get fucked up. The rest of the people that's not Israelites are going to get fucked up. That's in America. Mm -hmm. Those that survive around the world that's not Israelites are going to get bagged up and put into slavery underneath the Israelites. That's right. And then we're going to build the world up anew. And, and, and purge out the, the rebels from That's right, that too, that too, that too. That too. So this is my big question is why, why is it that seemingly the 
Ed Edomites or whatever? I don't know, I can't pronounce Edomites. it. Edomites. Edomites. So why is it that most Edomites are like, uh, usually what I think of an Edomite is like a, like a white collar, like, I don't know, like, you know, like, like, oh, like middle age, like go yeah, to church yeah, yeah, every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's what I think of. I don't know how to explain it, but. Like, 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 that's my corporate, definition. Like a corporate type of white man. I know what you're talking about. So, levels too. Oh, that's what about a hillbilly? What about a hillbilly in the Edomite? It seems like a it seems like a catch twenty two to me. Well, no, like, I mean it's it's it's, it's, it's Edomites, Edomites, that, look black. It's Edomites that, that look black. It's Edomites, black. It's Edomites that look Chinese. Yeah. Yeah. It's Edomites are like Israelites. They scatter among all the nations. They raped everybody. Oh, yeah. so they, they, they look every kind of way. It ain't just about how you look. Now, what you're saying is a a general. That's an accurate general statement. Just like when we say that these groups are the children of Israel, it's a generality because the vast majority of the people that's Israelites fall under one of these titles. And then the ones that don't are referred to as speckled birds, and they still fall underneath one of these tribes, but they just, you know, their origin or what they think their origin is is from somewhere different. So they don't, we, you can't necessarily say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can okay. I just say my my strongest evidence for Jesus Christ being legitimate is how fast Rome fell. Like Rome was like the biggest military complex in the world has ever seen, and they were they reigned for thousands of years, and then suddenly just Christians arise out of nowhere and overtake them. Like that to me is crazy, and that to me signifies that. And what you say, sir? Christ what you say? So about what? I was, I'm talking about the downfall of Rome. And, uh, awesome. well, can I ask you a question? Would you say America is similar to Rome? I mean, yeah, it is. It's a great empire that just arose. What else would you say is similar to Rome? You got the Senate, right? You got the Senate. You got the well, Republic. Yeah, it's a democracy. America is a democracy. Okay. So in the book, in the Bible, it talks about what the deadly wound was healed. Okay. Go ahead, beloved warriors. It's Revelation chapter 13 and verse 3. It says, and I saw one of his heads as were wounded to death. It says, and his deadly wound was healed, and all the world wondered after the beast. Yeah, there's one thing that happened when Rome fell. What happened when Rome fell? Who came up? When the Roman Empire fell, right? You got the Greeks ruled the Greco-Roman Empire. What happened? So you got the black men took over the Roman Empire, right? You ever heard of Septimius Severus? Presenius Niger? Right, the word Niger, Septimius Severus, means to sever. Right, these were the so-called black men that took over what the Roman Empire. Right, you got Constantine was the so-called black man. Right, who was behind the what Christian Church. Right, in 30 what 333 A.D. Right, they set up the Christian Church, the Catholic Church. Right, and what happened? You, the white man, came out the Caucasus Mountains. What, a thousand years later? Give me a thousand. Rebirth. Yeah. Revelation chapter 20 and verse 1. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent. So that dragon, that old serpent, goes yeah. back to what? The Greco Roman Empire, right? The Greeks, the Edomites, right? I do me up. Go ahead. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan and bound him a thousand years. So for 1,000 years after the Roman Empire fell, mm -hmm. the so-called white man went into the Caucasus Mountains of South Georgia, Russia. Hence Caucasian. That's how you guys got the name. Oh, I just saw America. Yeah, yeah America is part of that, that beast system. That bitch. That's the whore. The it's the whore sitting on top of the beast. Yeah. So the way, how did you guys get the name Caucasian? Because there's no such race as a Caucasian person, right? Coming out of the South Georgia, Russia. The mountains of South Georgia, Russia, you had with the um, Ottoman Turks, yeah. right? The Ottoman Turks, they set up the, the people you're looking at, the Jewish people today, that came from the Ottoman Turks, uh, right? Khazars. The Khazars, yeah. the, the Khazarian Empire. Right. And the other oh, yeah. Caucasians went into what? Britain, went into Germany, went into um, what, Poland, Judaism. went into Russia, went Europe. into all these different places of what, Europe, and it became what, the Renaissance, yeah. the Rebirth. rebirth. Roman Empire. Yeah, you guys so came, the so-called white man came yeah. out of slavery, came out of being on the bottom, and he came back, it's called a rebirth. Yeah. And what did he do? He changed the images. Get that, first back in his 348. And he, he, he put himself as the most high. But this is a lie right here. See, this came out around the changing of the images like the brothers break it down to, the rebirth. 
And y'all came out of them mountains, y'all was hell bent. Y'all yeah. was on a mission. Y'all said, fuck that. I'm taking over the earth and I'm going to change all the right. images. Yeah, uh, Jesus looked black. No, we can't have a black Jesus. Yeah, we going to have him looking like Shawn Michaels. Yeah, <laughs> hey, but Shawn Michaels and Jake, I ain't gonna let you do it like that, man. I can't let you do it like that, bro. I said, looking like Shawn Michaels. Slack it, slack it. All right, looking like, um, Shawn Michaels. Yeah, looking like 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 Shawn Michaels. Yeah, he covered the faces of the judges thereof. So when he came out, he said, you know what? I got to change everything. Because I can't come out being what Esau Edom, because Esau Edom is not a, it's not who you want to be. Yeah. So man, matter of fact, I'm going to take over the, the Dark Ages. I'm going to take over the Dark Empire. The people claim to be dark people. Hey, I'm going to call myself the Briton, the Spanish, right? Because the Moors, before the Hispanics spoke Spanish, who was speaking Spanish before that? The Moors. Right? The war is the so-called black man in that. Spain. Yeah. 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 See, they, 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 they'll tell you that during the Dark Ages, they don't talk about that. And their, their excuse is that, well, at that time, people were illiterate and people weren't, people weren't Lies. keeping people weren't keeping records. You know, it was just a time where feudal lords was ruling over serfs and they didn't allow people to know how to read and shit. And that's fake. The Dark Ages was a period of time after Roman like the elder brother went into, where quote unquote black people ruled over the whole of Caucasians. Is that real? Yeah, yeah Scotland, Scotland is the land of the blacks. Scott yeah. means black. What about Dublin? Ireland? Dublin. Caucasians yeah. did it. How did the Nordics? Nord like, Nord Nord like, Nord the, the Vikings are so called black. black. Yeah. Yeah. That's us, baby. Yeah. Yeah, see, they don't talk about that shit. Listen. Caucasians about that hella. They're talking about going to the kingdom of heaven. Hello. That, that, that's about us. Yeah. Listen, yeah. bro. When you um, let's take Britain for example. Caucasians didn't take over the island of Great Britain, Ireland, and Scotland. Those islands until Winston Churchill put all the blacks out of there. That's when that's when Caucasians took over Great Britain, Ireland, and Scotland. When Winston Churchill exiled all the blacks and sent them over here. Yeah. Benjamin Franklin wrote a letter, I don't remember the year, but he published it in a magazine, and he goes into length about how everybody from Europe is black, bro. The real, the people that was really Europeans was black, bro. Europa. And, and, and we, yeah. yeah. See, you don't know shit, and, no, because you're listening to that. what the white man tells. I've never heard of that in my yeah, life. Yeah, I know. You're it's a reason. Think I'm on the internet, though. And it all doesn't the time. matter, brother. It doesn't matter. These people control the flow of information to a, a, a high point, not 100%, because that's why we out here doing what we doing, because they can't control everything. But for the most part, they control a vast majority of the information wait, that goes so on. Now, hold on, bro. Right, hold wait, on, wait, I, wait, got wait, wait, I got you, I got you, I got you. You need to listen, bro. You done done enough talking. It's time to listen. Now. They control all the information. These people, like we said, are the Edomites who are referred to in the scriptures as the basis of men. If somebody, if an Edomite come up and tell you, especially at the time when they was coming out of their captivity, out of the dark, during the dark ages, an Edomite coming up and telling you he an Edomite is like a dude walking up to you and telling you I'm gonna knock you out and rob you, bro. And you just, and you think somebody just gonna stand there and be cool with you just saying that and then let you do it? No. Go ahead. This Job chapter 9 and 24. The Very earth is given into important. the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? And hey, do you know what the word devil means? It means deceiver or slanderer. The self-proclaimed white man, he's the devil of the Bible. And that's why I say it right there. He been yeah. put in, in control. The Lord put him in power. And what he did was he, he tossed everything. Doing the Renaissance, the rebirth. He broke all these lies and all that bullshit. That's where all that come from. It's called iconoclasm. Vladimir Putin actually, oh, yeah. just like five, three, four I, I, months ago, had a, uh, a, a, a State of the Union address in Russia, and he got on Russian TV, and he showed all of the old ancient icons from the Dark Ages and the Byzantine period, showing that all of the, not just the, the people in the scriptures is black, but all of the nobility, all the people that ran Russia, up until a certain point, were all black. What about the Vatican, the household, and all that information too as well, man. See, your elites, Edomites know who we are. See, you know, they do the diligent search. That's the that's the video. So they're showing the archive. Yeah. I think I saw some. Yeah. yeah. The good research. The truth is out. That's the problem. Yeah. Yeah. The truth is out, man. Yeah. The first special piece of the Grand Anne 48. Yeah. It's that he's, he's, he laid open the book of the law, which is the right. Wherein, like the wherein, the heathen sought to pay.
take the likeness of his of his image. Yes. And this is what he did. See the picture he just showed you? They, they, they looked like this at first. This is an imposter. It's yeah. called a iconoclasm. A fraud. Yeah. Iconoclasm, destroy the image. Yeah, so he this ain't the, the image, image of, of what we look like, a dark man look like, and painted this likeness of him, being God. And yeah. push this around the world. Yeah. Okay. And then he comes with the cross on ships, talking about uh, uh, Christianity, Jesus. Because that's all to see. If you, if you look at the track record of these Edomites, everything they do is about lip service, no homo. They'll tell you they a Christian or, or they'll hold the Bible up, but then their actions don't show you nothing but that they are steal, kill, and destroy. Yep. That's right. all they do. And the scriptures say that. Brother, get that, man. Uh, John you know, they, they, they got one job to do. They was created to do one thing. They not they not here to be righteous. Nope. It's not in there. Uh, the scriptures say that, that he, he cried and there was no repentance for him. And he paid the pay. I got it. Yeah, he's through. It yeah, says, uh, this John 10 and 10. The thief coming not, but for to steal and to kill is really supposed to say murder, and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. All right, so you're not going to meet an Edomite that's not coming to do what he just said, to steal, to murder, to destroy. How the fuck you think America became America? Uh, Edomites oh, came yeah, over here, they steal, they kill, and they destroy. How you think Europe became what Europe is today? The same thing. They came, they steal, they kill, they destroy. Everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Look it up, look it up. Uh, uh, Psalms 55, verse 20. He hath put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him. He hath broken his, his covenant, the brotherly covenant. All right, because they're our, our twin, our evil twin. Verse 21. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet where they draw on swords. So his intention was always to uh, eradicate us, man. He always pursued us with the sword. They have a perpetual hatred towards us. Yeah, yeah. You see? But e Esau, oh, is, Esau is known as the harbinger of death. Yeah. As, uh, as many years as, as this place, uh, America, has been established, I believe they only had like two years of peace or something like that. Yeah, Six yeah. years of peace. I think it was like 16. Like, yeah, 16 years of peace. Out of fucking 500 years. Out of 500 years, 500 years yeah. they only had 16 years uh, without war, man. So this place has been at war the whole time. I, I got, got one out of here. Welcome to the bloody city. Oh, I got one real quick. Oh, that goes back. What time was it? Number 35 and 33. So ye shall not pollute the land yep. wherein ye are, for blood it defileth the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed yeah, it. So, hey, the big payback, exactly. Yeah. All right? Because, hey, right now the, the, the so-called white man is ruined, but it's just for a moment. All right, and we see it. It's ending very soon. That's right. That's right. See? This is on the horizon right here, the mark of the beast, man. This, the whole world's going to be tested, but the elect of the nation of Israel are going to be kept from that hour of temptation. That's right. right. You see? And that's why we're warning our people. Bring it out. This second edge chapter 6 and verse 27. For evil shall be put out, and deceit shall be quenched. As for faith, it shall flourish, corruption shall be overcome, and the truth, which have been so long without fruit, shall be declared. That's right. That's, no. that's right. And that's what we're working towards out here, man, because at the end of the day, like the elder brother said, you know, it's a lot of debts that haven't been paid off. A lot of these white men and white women walking around here like they didn't just kill and steal everything they got, man. Got and, and, and see, a lot of these people, they think they done got off scot-free. Passing and teaching people how to be homosexuals, all type of shit, man. You know? And, and all these wicked-ass Edomites and wicked-ass people, they believe that because the Lord didn't come back and judge them when they did what they did, that a judgment ain't coming, man. But the Lord is coming back to judge them. You think that the Lord just gonna let, oh, y'all cold outside, it's cold over here, take this blanket, though. And then you give them the blanket and niggas die because they got sick. Hey, but that's the type, yeah, type of shit they, they were doing, bro. They a sentence against the evil work. Ooh. Now, you gotta realize when the white man took over America, the Native Americans then got their ass whooped. How come nothing happened to the white boy? How come we only got richer and richer? Man, he bragged about it. All money is derived from blood. Blood money. Money is derived from blood. That's a good white way to think about it. That's a good white way to think about it. All money. Hey, but this word is He just read something about that blood money. It says the land is defiled with blood. Hey, yeah. hey, so like, let me get in here, y'all. Hey, let me bring out it. The scripture says, through unrighteous dealings and riches gathered by the sea, 
You had it? Read that. Read that. Hey, and I'm going to read this. I'm reading this. I was quoting that, but let me read this. I'm trying to tag team with y'all. This is Ecclesiastes 3 and 15. It says, That which have been is now, and that which is to be have already been. It says, God requireth that which is past. Right? And the scripture says, A thousand days, it's like a thousand years to the Lord is as one day. Right? The Lord is not on our time. Right? So a thousand years to the Lord is as one day. The Lord said he required with that which is past. So if you put that into speculation of, of how long this man have been oppressing the Israelites, the, the, the Lord's people, say somebody kidnapped your sons and they beat them, they, they tortured them, and you caught them the next day. They did this for one day, but they fucked them up. They, now they all fucked. They don't even know who they is. They lose, you know, your kids is all fucked up. How would you feel? I, I, what would you do? I feel like my world would be over. That's my lineage. Okay, and, and what would you do to that man if you had a chance to do something? I castrate him. You, 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 right. White right. balls, that's uh, the first step. Look, and, and castration leads to death. Castration leads to death. A man will bleed out in seven minutes if you cut, if you cut his rod off. Right? I, I, I got a so, quick. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. This, you got it, right. this yeah. Nahum chapter one and verse three. Okay. The Lord is slow to anger huh? and great in power right. and will not at all acquit the wicked. That's right. The Lord have his way in the whirlwind and in the storm and the clouds are the dust of his feet. And they this world try to push it that, that God forgot it. God is, it, he, it's all water under the bridge. Like, he forgives everything. The Lord, hey, don't, the Lord hey. don't forgive folly, man. Oh, I got one hey, for y'all. Yeah, the Lord gonna get his, he gonna, the Lord is gonna avenge for his people. Everything that's been done unto us, he's gonna avenge for us. The Lord ain't forgot. That's right. This is, uh, <laughs> a second Maccabees 6 and 12. Go ahead. And I beseech thee, I beseech those that read this book that they be not discouraged for these calamities, but they judge no punishments, not for their destruction, but for a chastening of our nation. For as a token of his great goodness, when wicked doers are not suffered any long, but forward punished. So he saw what forward punished for all the wicked he's done. That's right. That means the Lord don't love him. That's right. Yep. So it says, um, verse 14, for not as with other nations, whom the Lord patiently forbeareth to punish. For he <laughs> uh, verse 14. For not for as the other nation, which he saw the other heathen nation outside the nation of Israel. Right. So it says, not for as the other nation, whom the Lord patiently for, forbear to punish. So his punishment eventually is gonna come, man. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. The Lord just letting this devil stack up his wickedness. Oh, I, I gotta I oh, got let me finish it off. Yeah. It says forbid to punish. So they become to the fullness of their yeah, sins. Right, right, right. So dealing oh, he with us. So he gonna let them load it all the way up? Yeah. Oh, oh, three. That's tab. Yeah, yeah. So oh, when the judge and fight do come, yeah, uh, it's gonna make their judgment that much more original. Yeah. Because they got a lot to pay for, pretty much. Uh, I got, uh, I got a couple on the table real quick. This Exodus 21 and 16 is very plain. It said, and he that stilleth the man and selleth him. Or if he be found in his hand, he should surely be put to death. Yep. And we're still in the Edomites, the self-proclaimed uh, white men's hands, man. And we're scattered abroad. And the Job 9.24 lets you know that uh, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, man. So they're still in real estate. So they're going to be put to death, man, soon. This uh, Isaiah 14 and 21. Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers. Because they like to say, oh, that wasn't me. That was my forefather. That was a long time ago. Hey, we got to pay for what uh, our forefathers did, man. That's right. We're still here. And y'all right. still counting money. Yep. See, a lot of these, that's what they don't tell you. A lot of these fucking Edomites, they don't even spend their 2024 money. These motherfuckers living off 17 and 1800s money, man. Gold, gold to this money. day. Uh, have you ever money. been to Portland, Oregon? No. Have you seen these fucking houses, these mansions yeah, they have? Yeah, yeah. They, they it's crazy. Gold money, slave it's money. It's crazy. Old Native American he said, money. He said on the West Coast, so, so that was where uh, they had a the gold rush at that time. Yeah, yeah. And he might have thought they was coming up. But still, got no, no other kingdom. Well, they have the they 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 Mexico, they had, West Coast. Yeah, Mexico. Yeah. But check this out. I'm going to uh, keep reading on this one. This is Isaiah 14 and 21. It said, prepare a slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers. Wait, wait, hold on, man. Hey, brother, don't read that, because God loves kids. Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. For I will rise up against them, saith 
the Lord of hosts and cut off from Babylon the name rem, uh, and remnant and son and nephew, save Yahweh from Yahweh. Yahweh. And this is not All right, that Babylon. means their whole lineage is cut off, and that lets you know the bloodline is through the father, too, man. All right? So, hey, they're going to be cut off, bro. It's, it's over. It's done, man. And then they still got... Yeah, yeah, they still got to pay for things they done from back then all the way to now, this very millisecond, man. So, let me just, are you arguing that this is the, um, what's it called? The this is the RFID chip. There ain't no argument about it. That's what it is. Or no. Is it, are you arguing that? No, that's your destruction. That's your, this is a sign of the end of this kingdom. Yes. Yeah. Isn't that what the reckoning is? Like when, when, um, the reckoning is like when fucking... The day of reckoning is when our Lord returns, but this yeah, is a so yeah, so. sign of, of the times. This is a, a token of, of the end days. That's, right. That's what this is. So when you see the, the billions of people on this earth start getting this in their hand, just know that our Lord and Savior is going to come soon. Folks, walk up. Come on, man. Because look, the disciples, the disciples asked the Lord what should, what should be the sign in the times that he was going to come back, right? So the Lord, he didn't tell us the exact day, or he didn't tell us the exact hour when he's coming back. But he gave us signs. This is one of those signs. Right? Yeah. So this is all we When you see nuclear missiles fill the sky as arrows, the Lord's going to pop up. Oh, yeah, right there. going to return in the midst of that and deliver us before everybody. Yeah. I got a quick precept. This place is going to burn. Go ahead. The second edge is 9 and 5. For like as all things that is made in the world have a beginning so and an end. Start at one. The second edge is 9 and 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest parts of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. So we know when the Lord said he's going to come visit the earth, how is he going to come visit the earth? With fire. Right? And what he said, the slain of the Lord shall be many. And what's happening? All the signs of his coming is coming to pass. Right? The uproars of the people. Wars in different countries, earthquakes, calamities, calamities. Hey, hey, and on top of that, you see it all around. The Lord is this cold, bro. You see the rainbow sign everywhere oh. in this freaking city. What does the rainbow symbolize, man? That he's not going to destroy the world again with water, man. He's coming with fire next time, bro. But all, all these people forgot about that, but the rainbow's in your face all the time, man. What are they using the rainbow for now, bro? We're thinking this. Uh, Right here, this is a sign. Yeah. Us right here, this is yeah. a sign. Yes, sir. All right, the scripture says that the righteous man shall stand in great boldness against the face of such who have afflicted him. That's why we out here. Uh, 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 75 years ago, we couldn't stand out here and tell they, a white they, man he's a they devil. They we couldn't tell him hey, that's all the wickedness that he's done to us, he's gonna be repaid for that. He would have took us, castrated us, hung us, right? This image alone would have got us hung, man. Exactly. He saw, he saw us stood, stood up on but that's how you, yeah. But that's how you know we at the end. And the scripture says, Wisdom and knowledge shall increase in the last days. Yep, you know? Yeah, yeah. Now, just, just for a short answer to the question you asked, this is this is the this is going to be what, and this is only for Israelites. This is going to be what the Lord uses to give the Israelites the opportunity to choose what side they are. It's a test. It's a test. You take this. You on Esau's side. You're going to get destroyed with Esau if you're an Israelite. If you are you're Israelite, you just listen, voluntary? just listen, brother, hold on. Yes, it's voluntary. They're not going to make you take it. You have to agree to take this. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be like a we rounding motherfuckers up and strapping them to a chair and making right. them take it. That's not what's going to happen. Gonna They're just going to tell you if you don't take this, you can't participate in society. Just like in 2020 when you didn't take something else and you didn't have proof of I did this. Well, now you can't go to the restaurant. You now can't you go to can't work. come to the game. They're now you can't have no job. Yep. It's gonna be we're, just like that. You're gonna make your life un, uh, very uncomfortable. Yeah. You can't put gas in your car. They, they might, they might just put you to death. You, you can't get paid. You go to work. You can't get paid. You can't buy anything. You know what I'm saying? Especially Without it. Up. This is the new currency. Right? This is gonna be the new world currency under your skin. You yeah. see? And this you're gonna either deal with that or you're gonna deal with the Lord. Yeah. There needs to be a reset though, because there's there's the Lord damn right. Reset, reset, right. Reset, right. Reset, right. Reset, right. Reset, right. Hell yeah. What's gonna happen? This is the reset. They're gonna get rid of your Federal Reserve note, which is your American currency. Have you noticed what's going on in all the countries? All the dollars are collapsing. All of the money is collapsing, right? And they're introducing what digital currency, right? Big bio, bitcoins, digital currency. So what is it going to lead to? The mark of the beast, the radio frequency identification device. 
No man will be able to buy or sell unless you got this in your hand or in your forehead or in the crap of your ass. Yeah, that's what it's gonna come to, man. They're gonna, hey, the brother, like the brother said, in the early stages, it's just gonna be like, you gonna come take it. It's gonna be a time. They're gonna be kill your ass if you ain't got a fucking chip. Yeah. Oh, he ain't got oh. no chip? Execute him. Yeah. That's coming out, yeah. You're gonna be amongst your family, right? And they're gonna get tired of taking care of you because you don't wanna take the they chip. They're gonna tell on your gonna ass. They're gonna have a hotline. Yeah. Hey, look, we'll give you X amount on your chip if you if turn you tell us who don't got a chip. Yeah. 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 But as far as we finna tape you down and chain you no. up and make you take it, no. 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 You're gonna have to agree to take it. Just like the all that we broke down earlier. That's yeah. Jizzy. Right. When the slave wanted to be property of the master forever, they had to agree to take that all. The, uh, the master position. couldn't just put it on you. You had to agree to take that. And then they had to go to the judges of the city as witnesses to put the all on them. And it's the same thing with this. Go ahead, bring it up. This uh, Revelation chapter 14 and verse nine. <clears throat> and the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast, and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his forehand it's like or in his hand the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the most high which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb and that's just going into the judgment that that individuals israelite or not that's over it, is going to receive if they take it yeah you see that back here one because yeah, those, those are nuclear missiles that are going to hit America, okay? Isaiah 24, verse 19. The earth is utterly broken down. The earth is clean, dissolved. The earth is moved exceedingly. The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard. It shall be removed like a cottage. And the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it. And it shall fall and not rise again. When America goes down, that's it. That's the end of Esau Edom's uh, kingdom. All these kids. In, in, in Job 14 and 5, it says that the Lord set the bounds that he cannot pass. All right. And in 2 Ezra, it says that he, he set everything by measure until it's fulfilled. So he gave Esau Edom a time to rule. And this is, we're telling you, it's coming to its end. You That's see, right. the mark of the beast is right here. The prophets are on the scene. All right. World War III is on the horizon. Yep, yep. Foreign troops are around America. Okay. Just the end. The lights are going to, about to go out. There's not going to be no internet. All right. No, how water, none of that shit. Yeah, and yeah. right. yeah. when that when that day comes, you're gonna look at the situation you're in now as a blessing, because these yeah. motherfuckers that's living comfortable are gonna be fucked up out here, man. You have millionaires and billionaires committing, uh, deleting themselves. And uh, brother just talked about uh, right. Van Dango. Van Dango uh, a guy from Van Dango jumped, he jumped out his window. And killed Should himself. I be doing that if I'm indignant and I'm like? This is a war zone and I'm we're all on dirt floor. Shouldn't I be jumping off the building? Well don't forget, you can jump off the building, but you're coming back to serve slavery. Yeah, you're not gonna escape. You're gonna escape your judgment. There's no escape. If you're if you're you know the only hope is if you go back to these people and that's you believe in the Lord. That's yeah. the only way out. That's right. Do you believe all of this that we're bringing out? No, you, I mean, I, so I do think this is very plausible, and I do think this is probably likely. Well, they've been working on this system. This is, this hey, is here, bro. This, this, this is here. This is not well, I likely. Know, I know, this is out already. I know, hey, but hey, I, I, I'm hey, talking about what you're implying about being, being forced upon us. Yeah, well, I mean, they force everything else upon motherfuckers. Yeah, exactly. Oh, cause they the guy that hey check it out bro, the guy that made this chip, he went on record. He made this this right there, right? He, oh, yeah. he, he had a revelation, he had a revealing, and he came out and said that this is the mark of the beast. He said God made him make the mark of the beast essentially, the maker of it. You know? I know. I know. I forget his name. Yeah, I forget his name, but he said when I was he, he said we was in the lab, we was creating this, and then after he created it and it was perfected. He said that I came to. He basically had came to the realization that this was the mark of the beast. What's his name? Oh, I know you're talking about. It's uh. It said RFID was, however, officially invented in 1983 by Charles Charles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Charles when he found the first patent. I don't know if that's him. It's not him. It's a little hard. Oh, it's But yeah, like a. You know, yeah, you know. Also, also is another video. For one of these leaks, well, who's his name? David. Uh, David Rockefeller. David Rockefeller, I believe. Uh, he basically, um, uh, he basically was was telling 
don't think Alex it was David. Jones. Alex Jones. Alex Jones. Oh, I don't know, but the he nigga, the nigga that, the nigga that the Rockefeller told, told him exactly was yeah. talking about. Was talking. Alex Jones. Yeah. I forgot the nigga's yeah. name. The dude that made trades. Mm -hmm. He I basically. Oh, yeah. 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 No, no, but basically, he came out because David Rockefeller told him the agenda. Basically, in the future, which is now the future, because this came out in the in the 1900s, right? He told him. Yeah. Like, it was, like it was 1905. I mean, it's still 19, I mean, 1990. 90. <laughs> I was born in 1990. This shit was in like the late 90s, early 2000s. <laughs> nah, but, uh, kind of, no, but yeah, in the 1990s, he basically told him the agenda for the future, which was uh, to chip everybody. You know, this was the plan. And he basically offered him, all right, you know, in on this, you know, so that he wouldn't have to partake in this, but he could rule with them. All right, and he, he wasn't with that agenda, so he came out and he told the whole world what 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 he was told or what the meeting was about. Right, so that's this has been the agenda for the longest. Who are you afraid Nicholas, of? Nicholas, uh, Nick Rockefeller is the guy that. No, it's on Odyssey. It, it's yeah, on it's Odyssey. 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 What they call it? Look up. But his videos out here, right, exposing these devils, man. All right, because like I said, wisdom shall be increased in the last hey, days. Somebody grabbed Amos three and seven. Oh, shot the back row. That's right. You know, so and, and the scriptures also says that his tongue shall fall upon himself. So in these last days, a lot of these, uh, a lot of these, these, these wicked agendas that that they've they've talked about in secret is coming out. Reminds me of Snowden. Yeah. The same thing. Yeah. So when we when we tell you this, we, look, we need to. Look, it's in the scriptures for sure, you know, but we can see it right here. It's already created, and they have talked about it. They have talked about the plans that they plan to do with these things. Oh, the guy from uh, uh, World Economic Forum? Yeah. He said in 2016, Charles 10 years, Schwab. Charles Schwab, he said in 2016 that uh, the whole world will be microchip. Yeah. That's, you know, that's near, and, that's around and, the corner. And hey, John, uh, John the Revelator, he put that in the scriptures thousands of years before. Mm -hmm. Yep. You see? So as you see, and what that's what you really brought up earlier, you see it uh Rome fell because it is no Rome fell because it was prophesied. Just like this is prophesied to happen from the Lord. Aaron Russo is the guy. Man, thank you. Aaron Russo. Yeah. The Amos 3 and 7. I believe I called it. Amos 3 and 7. This Amos 3 and 7. Uh surely uh Yahweh Power will do nothing. But he revealed his secrets unto his service of the prophet. Right, so we understand these things. We go in the scriptures and see what the mark of the beast is because the Heavenly Father sent his spirit down and gave us the understanding of these things. This is how we know that from our, from our elders and our apostles of the great millstone. You see? Yeah. So he revealed his secrets to his servants of the prophets. See, these are mysteries, right? That's why we come out here and we preach this. This, this 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 gospel because we know hey everybody's not gonna be able to understand it like we actually do you believe in these things we don't expect you to understand it but if you do understand it then there's a fair chance that you might be a part of the children of Israel right because only the elect is gonna understand these mysteries it says none of the wicked shall understand it. none of the wicked shall understand are you are you posting this to like, yeah, on yeah. On? yes well, this goes out to the four corners of the earth that's a unicorn
Oh, they were telling the truth. What do you think that blockchain technology is uh -oh. for? Do you really think that the government like, is going to allow separate entities to cut the government out of financial transactions and trade? Absolutely not. Blockchain is like the least way to, like, you, it's, you can't really trace blockchain. But it's going to, no, you, you can trace well, you blockchain. Can. That's the point of it. Hey, and, and, and and all, what I'm saying is, all of these bitcoins and all that shit, they're allowing these other people to develop them and, and opening people's mind up to it. But when the government comes out with this, bitcoin and all that shit is going to be illegal. And the government is going to come out with their own blockchain currency. And that's what they're going to use this to, to, to administer to the people. That way they know what you're buying. Well, in theory, this is what they're going to do. Because they're not going to be able to get it off. But in theory, what it does is, let's say that you're somebody that the government feels like is prone to be an anarchist. It'll be impossible for you to use your credits to purchase any type of weapon. Right. In that interview, the guy said, we'll just turn off your chip. If they act out, we'll just turn off the chip. Now you can't buy shit. Can't it, exactly. Anything. They don't have to. And that's not to say that you know, they won't use it to kill you too. But the point is, they can just cut you out of society and you can just starve to death. Right. And China already does that. So what? China does that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, 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 that's So everything that's happening in China is going to be coming over here very soon. They're implementing over there. That's where, like, what I'm saying, it's going to be here. Soon. But see, in China, they only deal it. They only dealing with it in China in the major cities. The the the, the, the countryside dwellers in China. Fucking cool. the countryside dwellers in China. They don't deal with that. They dealing with cash and shit like that still. They live in the boonies. But in places like Beijing and Shanghai, right. yes, they do have. As well, as that's why they, they get ready to build these five-minute cities in America. Because they're going to have to, everything going to be connected to this. Because this walk, is, oh yeah, but when you walk out the door, they're going to be able to track where you're going. Yeah. You want to order, uh, order some food, you know, purchase with your hand and all that stuff. Man, everything's being yeah. moved towards this. Yeah. Plain and simple. Yeah. Because this man, he want to be like God. He want to know how to see y'all. This chip right here, you know when your ass go to sleep. They can use it to read your frequencies in your brain. Oh, they already do that by firing yourself, off in his brain. It's it firing off in his brain. We're going to stop him from doing something before he do it type shit. This is what, they, this is what, what they mentality was that? is. It was a movie like that. Yeah, uh, I forgot what it's called. I know exactly what you're talking about. Hey, what movie was that? Something about what movie was that when um, the crime Judge, Judge Dredd, Judge Dredd, right? Oh, no, 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 no. no, no. It was a movie. Damn. They, uh, was, they was locking niggas up before they even yeah, committed the crime. Committed like, crime. Oh, oh yeah, I know. You were going to be a killer in 20 years. Right, right, right. 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 Tom Cruise. Yeah. I think it's minority. Minority reward. That's minority reward. I say minority reward. I got one back up. I know Tom Cruise in it. The second Thessalonians 2 and 3. There's some called summary execution. That shit hits the fan, they can lay your ass down on sight. They're gonna come to you and tell you what law you broke and just kill you right on sight. It's That's called summary Judge execution. Judge, um, jury and execution. execution. Yep. Damn. The 2 Thessalonians 2 and 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, but that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. The Apostle Paul, he was telling the believers, like, look, the Lord isn't gonna return yet until this prophecy of us falling away from who we are. We would go, we would, the curses will befall us, we would forget who we were, we get sent all throughout the earth, chiefly America, which is Babylon, right? And there we would be delivered, right? It says, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed. The man of sin is the so-called white male, the Edomite. That's the man of sin being revealed. That's what we've been telling you, the secrets of the Bible, right? It says, the son of perdition, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God or that is worship, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. And going back to the topic, this is Esau even the self-proclaimed white man trying to claim himself to be God. He want to put this check in you so he can control you, monitor you. you know what, what, what you did yesterday, what you ate, yeah. uh, what your heart being created. Yeah. When you, you know? go take a shit, all that, right? what your buying trends are. He's yeah. trying to be God, you see? But hey, that's not gonna happen, man. Our Lord and Savior is gonna come and save his remnant yeah. and destroy this man's system, man, which yeah. ultimately is this place being destroyed. You don't want the planet of Earth. Yeah. That's right. Because at the end of the day, when they, when they get their way and get this off, you're not even gonna be able to leave. They're gonna have the cities 
sectioned off and where you live at is the only area in the city you're gonna be able to be at. You go to a different, like let's say you live up here and this is your area that you get designated. They catch you downtown, they gonna kill you for that. And your little chip gonna go off and let them know this nigga not supposed to even be over here. Yeah, because your phone does that already. Every time you hit these red lights, it tags it. Yeah, they had a test run for the cutoff of the city. Going on, if you remember the George Floyd, George Floyd riots and all those riots that happened a year or two ago? Yeah, and they was cutting off sections of the city. The police were able to, hey, we're going to keep from this point to this point. You know, whatever they were riding, they just cut them off. Yeah, they yeah. stuff. I got it right here. It's like here. the Chicago, uh, like the Chicago riots. That's what I'm saying. I'm sure they like trial of the 7th? Yeah, I'll read the scripture. There's a uh, second edge was 15. I'll start at 14. Woe, which means destruction. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. And one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands, for there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand their power. Like, you know, like Judge Red, people are just going to be, you know, executing and judging people on the spot out here. There's not going to be no 911, okay? A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Because there's going to be martial law eventually out here. It's going to be all zoned off, you see? They show you that movie with Justin Timberlake time, when, the, when they have the mark of the beast in the, in the arm. He couldn't go unless he had enough credits. That's how the, the rich uh, separate themselves from the poor. Today, right now, they have a property, you know? Million dollar uh, homes, uh, large amounts of property taxes. But verse 18, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity, no mercy upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword. What's a modern day sword? It's a gun, you know, a knife, okay? And, and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread. You got some bread right there. And for great tribulation, man, and that day the storehouses are going to be empty. All right, the, the alleys, the trash cans, that's just all gonna be empty through. The dogs and cats, people are gonna eat them too. It's gonna be mad, mad. Okay? This is gonna be wild out here. This is gonna be Jacob's trouble. Yeah, preach, and, I, I agree with that. And only the elect are gonna be delivered from you, man. It's gonna be mad, mad. I don't mean a point, but I, I do agree with that. Okay, cool, cool. Right. I got one more. There's Nahum 1 and 7. The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, yeah. and he know of them that trust in him. That's a tad all in, because it is gonna be great evil upon the earth. The only way to be safe from that is, is, is coming back to the, the Heavenly Father. You know, if you grow up his name, you know, his name is Yahweh. He, he is. He exists. Yahweh Shai. He saves. He delivers. That's our Lord and Savior. And you need to know those names. And if you have the faith to call on them, call on them. And they the Lord, and he may just hide you in that day of evil. I just right, want right. to get crazy out there. I'm just going to be real with you guys. I think I'm going to go to church on Sunday. That's not this is church. church. You're going to be this real. Is church. This is church. This is not going to help me. You at church right now. Like, hey, you're not going to help me. I don't got nowhere else to go. This is church. Come here next Saturday. Friday. 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 Don't go to church. Bro. You're not going to hear no script. You're going to hear some Google and Boogie and some dancing, bro. Don't go to church. The reason we have to come bring your ass right there, sit down and listen and learn, bro. No, the reason bro. we just yeah, took so much time to explain this to you guys nah, because, nigga, you've been going to church your whole life. Right, you man, ain't yo, know shit. On, you ain't heard now. Look at the tradition you're in in the church. Church, church, church going to tell you that this who coming to save you. Uh, yeah, yeah. Which church did you go to that they gave you any of this information? Give me None. one scripture you one. heard in church. Ask your pastor. You know Matter of fact, go to church and ask the pastor what the mark of the beast is in front of everybody and see what he does. Keep you out of church. That's sealed, bro. Wait, wait, wait. I got That's a, a demon. I got a scripture that bag of what the brothers are saying. This, 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 hold on, hold on. Read Let me read that. this. Listen to that. Because uh, you say you finna go to church, right? You don't go to a building that looks similar like that, right? Oh, oh, oh. Listen to what he finna read. Hey, this act. Uh, this Acts chapter 17, verse 24. Yeah, how would that made New Testament too, brother? Yep. Yeah, how would that made the world and all things therein, seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth, dwelleth not in temples made with hands. These temples are made with hands, man. He said, uh, when two or more uh, are gathered, are gathered name, I am in a mist. He's right, right here. The word church means ecclesia, a calling out. Right. Wisdom this is church. Out, she uttered her voice in the streets. This is the, the bread breaking right here. This is the congregation. This is the gathering. This is the we on the highways and byways, man. As the Lord compelling our people to come in. Yeah. Them churches ain't doing that, man. And they got people. You do not dwell in man-made temples built with hands. Yeah, I just read that. Yeah, I just read that.
right cheese they got these crosses and things like that. The more they do it, the more they do it. Yeah. Most places I can go to the corner is hot. You gonna yep. go in there and you and you the one that's fucked up, but they gonna ask you for some money instead of Come giving on. you something to help. God don't exactly. bring you yeah. up the house of harlots. Yeah. Why, why would God need something that he gave you? That don't make no sense. This money is for God. For what? What do you need money for? He don't live here. Cut. You don't see him. So who was the money really for? And we dishing this out for free. Oh yeah, yeah. right. Free, Just like free. how we got it. Yeah, I this, mean straight up. And we ain't got no bucket. You see a bucket out? We ain't asking for no donation. Yeah, we give it to you free. This Proverbs 8 and verse 1. Doth not wisdom cry and understanding put forth her voice? She crieth in the top of high places by the way in the places of the paths. She crieth at the gates, at the entry of the city, at the coming in, at the doors. Unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of men. O ye simple, understand wisdom, and ye fools, be of an understanding heart. Point being, hey, the wisdom which in the beginning of wisdom is the fear of the Lord. You're going to learn that out here with the prophets of the Lord, which are going to be on the highways and byways in the days. You're not going to hear the prophecies being talked down. Hey, the scripture tell you that the testimony of Yahweh Shah is the fear of the prophecy. Yeah. Churches ain't going to prophecy. You don't go to prophecy to go to sit down and them see you feel yeah. good. They're tell you everything but you good. Feel good and get destroyed. Well, 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 nine times two, you go out with them sleeping in the Catholic spots. They're going to tell you everything. You're going to have some little boys in the back. If you take your woman in there, somebody going to fuck your wife. Right, here goes another scripture. This is Isaiah chapter 50, 58 and verse 1. It says, Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression, and the house of Jacob their sins. So what, 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 that's what we're doing right now today. We are here on the highways and the highways, and we're speaking loudly for everybody to hear. How can you face your enemies in the church? The Lord say, face your enemies, right? You got to come out here in order to face your enemies. You're not facing your enemies in the church. In the church, they put all love. Everybody love each other. I love you, sister. I love you, brother. All love service. Come on, all lip service. But, yeah. and, and, but in, in, in behind each other's back, they hate each other. Adultery. Yeah. Know they your talk enemy about each other. Type shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Type shit. Know your enemy. Know your there's, enemy. Another, there's another phrase, I think it's from the Bible. It's something about like being close. I don't know, don't close with your enemy. Never trust that enemy. Never trust that enemy. Okay, that's, that's what the Bible yeah, says. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Never trust that enemy. So Rock say keep your enemy far from you. Yeah. yeah. That's the world saying, oh, keep your enemy yeah, close and your yeah, enemy yeah. close. Yeah. 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 That's the thing. That's smooth uh, words right there. Yeah. But the thing is, you got to know who your enemy is. That's right. You know? See, our people don't realize who their enemy is. That's why you got a lot. I mean, of course, of course we got the curses, which is another topic, but that's why you got our people warring against each other, man. All right, because they're going through so much oppression and going through so much hell, right? They've been put in, inside the systematic trap, right? They, you got all these these different, uh, these things that Esau does, like drop guns off in, in the neighborhood, drop, you know, uh, fill our neighborhoods with all type of drugs and, you know, like the brother said, dope man. We don't own no muff we don't own no gun manufacturing companies. We don't own no labs where we create these things. Right. right? So our people, they, they don't know who their enemy is, so they they they, they warn with each other. Yeah. Right? But the thing it's is when you know that's what I said, oh. but I said that's a whole other topic. But when you know who your enemy is, then you can be able to the, the worst thing that the worst thing that the white man ever did was convince the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans that he was their friend. Right? See, that's what he did to our people. He convinced them that, that he was their friend. Oh, we all equal. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not against y'all. We equal. Come on, let's be friends. When the whole time he don't look at us as, as equal, especially these elites. Now these regular, even these regular white people walking down the street, they still got that right. enemy, that, that hatred, yeah, that hatred. You know? But these elites for sure know that they know who we are. Yeah. They know who they are. Exactly. And they face this whole society to oppress us, man. Exactly. Right. Yeah, systematic oppression. You know? This is Rock 12 and 10. You break it down. So Rock 12 and 10. Never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. Hey, and we, it's like, when you go in Psalms, the 83rd chapter, the, the scriptures tell us to you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the speckled birds, they tell you who your enemies are. Right. There's a lie that this world pushes that, oh, we're all one people, where God loves everybody. No, the Lord has a special chosen people. Yeah. And that special chosen people is hated on by the rest of all these other right. nations. That's right. Everybody. Hey, and just like the scriptures say, roughly paraphrasing, though hand join in hand, we with which it shall not, not go unpunished. unpunished, man. See, they're going to tell you that we all should hold hands and be cool together. Oh, yeah. But like the beloved elder Malcolm must say, 
we're all equal and we're all holding hands, but I'm in charge, guys. I'm the one that's on top. That's how these eating mics operate. Hey, that one percent, he ain't even holding no hands. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You got the 99% holding hands. Yeah, them niggas standing with you. <laughs> they got the gun on top on of top the yeah, exactly. yeah, that is weird. Weird. This is like Rock that. chapter 12 and verse 11. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yeah. yet take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hadst wiped the looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. That's right. Hey, so, so, and, and that's what our people are about to soon realize, right? Because we're going to all these prophecies. Another prophecy that's coming is the time of Jacob's trouble. That's right. All right, the time of Jacob's trouble. That's right. The time of Jacob's trouble is when you finna have these Edomites reveal their true colors, man. See, they about to come down with great wrath, man. Not only is they about to come down with great wrath upon the earth, but more so upon our people, man. You know, hey, that's why, hey, why you think they had all these, um, you know, we, we talking about the, the Jews. You know, we can say it on camera, whatever, but you know what the juice is, the jab, the jab shot, the jump shot, 2020. That vacation. Yeah, yeah, where it shut down the whole world, you had to take that You had to take the jump shot. You had to have your, uh, yeah. you yeah, had yeah. to have your parking oh, validated to go anywhere. Yeah. So look, <laughs> they were saying that they want to make it more available in poor communities. That they want to make sure that the poor people got it first so they could be more, you know, uh, so it could be more available to them. When has they ever put us first for anything? But when they come to this poison, they'll say, oh yeah, let's give it to them first. You know, they was giving Jake. What's the name? They giving Jake. What, what, what? Incentives. Incentives. No, nigga, yeah. weed. Nigga, you can get a six, six club. You can get a six man. wing. Don't let. You can get a six wing and a lap dance. If you come get this shot. If you come take this jump. You know, and, and our people, they, they gonna go take it. Why? Because they so simple. You know, they gonna. Oh, I do want them donuts. I want that bag of weed. You know? I ain't smoked it all day. He said he wanted to help us. Yeah. You know. How do y'all be a racist, man? He here to help. This a rock 12 and 12. Set him not by thee, lest we have overthrown thee. He stand up in thy place. Neither let him sit at thy right hand, lest he seek to take thy seat. And thou at the last remember my words and be pricked therewith. All right. A lot of our people finna get pricked. They finna realize that those men that was on the highways and byways was telling the truth. Right. Telling that the man that been oppressing them, continue the oppressing them, is the fucking devil. Right. But it's gonna be too late. Hey man, but like the elder Karab say all the time, I'm glad when you niggers don't listen, man. Because it gave me a better chance to make it. That's Fuck right. All right, because niggas, niggas going to go after their daddy at the end of the day, man. And a lot of you niggas' daddy is Esau. This Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 6. Jeremiah 30 and verse 6. Ask ye now and see whether a man doth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail and all faces are turned into paleness. So this is what you about to have, man. You about to have these so-called mighty men. Are you gonna have your biggest, toughest wall motherfucker who be in the gym lifting 300 pounds, bench pressing, all right, out here with a pale face with his hand on his loins, he gonna be scared. Why? Because in that day, in the days that's coming, strength is not gonna save you. You know, your guns is not gonna save you. The only thing that can save you in these last days is this wisdom not to understand which leads to salvation, which is Yahweh Bosh Mount Shah. Right? So if you don't got this wisdom not to understand it, and you ain't you ain't part of elect, you can't be saved. Right? See the Lord, you know, he, he's not about to have no respect to persons, man. It's not about to be survival of the fittest. You know, people say, yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of you fit motherfuckers when they get flushed. Yeah, hey, and the scripture says, man, you have not chosen me, I've chosen you. Yeah. It all pours down if the Lord chose you now. That's it. Yeah. Hey, how do you how do you think look, how do you think Esau gained his earth? It wasn't because he was strong. It wasn't because he was right. Because our people, I got Native Americans, Americans was right. giving them Edomites yeah, hell. These yeah, Edomites got guns, guns and all type guns. of shit. And these fucking Native Americans was jumping out of trees with hatchets and arrows and fucking them up, man. These bitch ass niggas, the Lord had to put it on their spirit to resort to uh, to to biological warfare to be able to stop these to stop these Native Americans, man. Because they couldn't, and in the Dark Ages too. Because when they took over Europe, the same thing happened. All most of them niggas got sick and died, and they took over and kicked everybody else out. All right, the Lord gotta uh, gotta push them to the forefront. And even if with all these guns, even when you look at the news now, it takes six or seven white men. That's the police to arrest. That's why they come five cars deep to arrest one nigga. Or shoot. Because they can't fucking. Or shoot they, a black woman in her face. Yeah, fuck that bitch, right. In her crib. Judgment. Yeah. They coming five, ten deep 
to handle one black because they can't handle them. My pops was a police officer. And every time them niggas arrested a black, they called him to come deal with the nigga because the white boys couldn't handle it, man. Say, and that's why the Buffalo Soldiers was a thing too. They made the Buffalo Soldiers, which was black Union soldiers, and they sent so-called black, and that's who they sent to go try to kill the Native Americans because the white man couldn't handle them, man. Can I, can I, can I, yeah, 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 bring that up. This Deuteronomy 32 and 30, how should one chase a thousand yeah. and two put 10,000 to flight, except their rock has sold them and the Lord has shut them up? Right. And basically, hey, it says in the book of Psalms that the Lord, he's in control of everything. He sets up one people, brings down another people. That's right. The Lord raised up the so-called white male and brought down the Israelite down to do, to fulfill his will, to, uh, to, uh, his, uh, his purpose. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, 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 and you gotta think about it, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying this. But no, but uh, hey, but you gotta think about it. How many scriptures we just came out with in the past what hour or so? And in the church, they bring out two scriptures and then come to sing it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the singing and the collection played like a thousand times. Yeah, they're gonna bring that's, out that Charlemagne Rob God. Right. And they're gonna send your black ass home. And, 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 every, uh, and everything that we was talking about, we backed it up by scripture. Every single one. That's how you know this is the truth, man. And, and us of GMS got the truth, man. All right? But go ahead. Hey, bro. so with that, we like oh, yeah. to end off by giving all praise and glory due to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah Bashem, Kakadash. I've lost to the apostles, great meals, throne who will. And say to all you brother around the four because earth pushing his right. word and troops sincerity with charity. To, to next time, shalom and the Baba Ball. Baba Ball! 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 Baba 